Hey, I play golf for the Millers, so yeah, I'm dope. I don't care, Nick. Yeah, well, I love the Millers. Don't we all? Any current juniors need to make sure to get a second meningitis vaccine for your senior year. Proof of immunization is required on the first day of school, August 1st, 2017. If you have any questions, go see the nurses. Starting today, Mr. Noblesville DVDs are being sold at lunch. The DVDs are $5 a piece and will be sold through Tuesday. Make sure you get a copy by Tuesday. Juniors and seniors, are you ready for a potentially life-altering test? Have you been stressing all week? You should be. Because your local NHS will be hosting the SAT tomorrow morning. Students who have registered should be at the main doors, gate one. By 7.45 a.m., testing will take place in the English wing and several classes above. Room assignment lists will be available in the entry hall when you arrive so you know where you will be crying in silence if you're registered. You should know what you need to bring by now because it's Friday, people. The NHS DECA chapter is having a meeting for all current members and anyone interested in joining next year on Tuesday, May 9th during AL. They will be recapping the year's success and starting to plan next year's events. If you are interested in joining, request a pass from Mr. Nicholson for AL in room 1229. Make sure to come out to this year's annual Jazz Cafe for some Latin music, Starbucks coffee, and a variety of desserts. In addition to the seven incredible jazz bands, there will be a special guest artist, Pavel, and direct contact. This will take place in the NHS cafeteria on May 5th at 6.30 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. If you took an official prom photo this year through the photographer, those are now available for purchase online. The website is www.seemeprints.com. The event is under Noblesville High School Prom 2017. The password is Prom 2017. The new episode of Around the County is up now on our website. Make sure to check it out. The new episode of Stories with Clay Merchant, the NHS Dance Team, Madison Surface, and the Riley Dance Marathon. To watch, go to www.millermedianow.org. There will be a sociology club meeting today at 1.15 in room 2210. Check the sociology club canvas page for more information. Send a pass to Mrs. Gilbert on passwords if you don't have IAL. If you really want a jelly and peanut butter sandwich. What? I want a jelly and peanut butter sandwich while watch some Josh and drink. Just stop. Now on to sports, lunches, and birthdays. Oh, it hurts. Later, NHS. Hi guys, what's the matter? Cameron doesn't pay enough attention to me. Case in point! Well, I can see you two both have some serious issues. I'm gonna have to subscribe to- nah. I'm gonna have to subscribe! I'm gonna have to subscribe, subscribe to my channel for more content! <laughs> <laughs> the Singers Concert Choir is going to Isma State Choir Finals this Saturday. Wish them luck! Also, tonight is the Jazz Cafe. It's not too late to buy tickets. They're sold at the door. Be there tonight, 6 p.m. It's going to be a great night. Speaking of great nights, there are lots of events going on this May for the music department. Mayfest is starting. Don't miss any of the awesome events. Friday's piece of featured visual art is titled Nico and is a work done in graphite. It has nice line technique as well as lots of shading. If you'd like to be featured on Fine Arts Friday as Artist of the Week or possibly even have one of your own pieces showcased, please contact us at fineartsfriday at gmail.com with a private email. Hi, I'm Nick Copenhaver and I'm the design editor for the Millstream. So I first got started in uh, journalism when I took uh, J1 class I took uh, photo journalism freshman year and I took it as just like a filler class and I ended up really liking it and so I joined uh, the Millstream my sophomore year and um, worked my way up and became the design editor. 
Um, I think the arts are important because it gives everyone an opportunity to just express themselves no matter what you do. It could be taking photos, it could be painting, it could be playing an instrument. It just gives you um, a way to put your energy into something and uh, show people who you are. Thanks for watching another episode of Fine Arts Friday. And now for our next step, the trust fall. Who's gonna hit me, man? Cameron! There is no hope for these two. Tune in next week, NHS. Yeah. yeah! 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 Somehow, when the sound seems to be correct in my imagination, the story can begin. I don't know what I'm going to write when I begin to write. It's that time of year again, folks. May 16th at 7 p.m. in a concert on the roof of the school, NHS musicians will be performing originals or songs of the featured artist Paul Simon in the third installment of the Songwriters series. The concert is open to all students and or faculty of NHS, whether you are currently taking a music class or part of the music department. To perform in the concert, you must audition with your original song or Paul Simon cover for Mr. Jasper before the end of the day, Monday, May 8th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Jasper for clarification. It feels like you're walking down a path, but you don't, you can't see around the bend and you don't know where you're going to go, which is fun. Your favorite duo is back for sports. Let's start the day off with a joke. What do you call a pig that does karate? I'm not sure, Lexi. Pork chop. Let's read some sports. Your Miller boy lacrosse team lost a tough one last night against Fishers 9-4. Catch them back in action on Saturday against the Westfield Shamrocks. Your Miller boys golf team won their match against Garen Catholic Tuesday night with a score of 166 to 160. Leading the way for the Millers was Parker Deacon with a one under 35 for the day. Great play in those tough, windy conditions, guys. The Noblesville Ultimate Frisbee team had the first half of their tournament last weekend winning two out of three games. Special shout out to Micah Killebrew, Alex Westervelt, uh, Wyatt Kluber and Thomas Wigan. If you're interested in playing, the team holds open practices at White River Elementary on Sundays from 2 to 4. Lexi, it was great reading sports with you. It's a change from reading the news. It was nice. Have a great day, NHS.